Now let us see the global prism parameters. For this we go to global mesh setup and then prism meshing parameters and these are the global prism parameters. The global param uh, prism parameters that we will be discussing now are of secondary importance. First among those are fixed marching directions. Generally direction in which prism grows is controlled by smoothening algorithm. If fixed marching is enabled then the direction of growth is calculated for only first layer and other prism layers also grow in the same direction. You can see the effect of fixed marching direction when it is activated this is how the marching direction is fixed and when it is not activated this is how the growth of the prism layer is. Effect of fixed marching direction can be observed in figure it is recommended to disable this function in normal usage as it will reduce the quality of prisms created. Next parameter is minimum prism quality. Minimum prism quality sets the minimum quality criteria during the creation of prism layers. If quality of prism created is less than the specified, then prism elements will be deleted. Pyramid elements will be used to make mesh conformal. Pyramid elements created during this process are of very bad quality and quality of these elements cannot be improved. It is recommended to set this criteria as low as possible to avoid creation of pyramid elements and then improve the quality of prism by smoothening. The next parameter is ortho weight. This parameter is applicable when direction smoothening is used. It is used to prioritize between quality of prism and that of tetras. This value may vary from 0 to 1. If value of ortho weight is set to 0 then preference is given to improving the quality of tetra elements and if we set the value to 1 then preference is given for improving the quality of prism elements. As you can see in the figure this figure shows the smoothing operation performed with different values of ortho weight. For point 0.1 it is given like this, for point 0.5 it grows, it grows like this, whereas point for point 0.9 which means we are giving preference to quality of prism elements it grows like this. We see the best quality of prism elements in this particular figure compared to these. Now the next parameter is fillet ratio. Fillet ratio is defined as the ratio of fillet radius to prism height. This creates fillet proportional to the height of prism layer. Generally this is used to blend prism smoothly around sharp corners. Setting fillet ratio to 0 creates sharp corners on the, prism uh, on, the, on the prism surfaces. This can be observed in the figure. So this is fillet ratio 0, fillet ratio 0.5, fillet ratio 1. Setting it to 0 creates sharp corners as you can see here. Next parameter is maximum prism angle. This is the maximum internal angle between the base and extruded direction. If this criteria is not met then prism layers will end and will be capped by a pyramid. We will see the example in the figure. Now in the first case where maximum prism angle is set to 140 but two surfaces are at 160 to each other so prism layers end abruptly. Whereas in the second case maximum prism angle is set to 180 so prism layers continue and merge to the adjoining surface. We can see it in this figure. It is recommended to set the maximum prism angle to 180 to avoid creation of pyramid elements. Now let us see the next parameter that is maximum height over base. It is the ratio for prism defined as maximum height over smallest length. This sets the limit to ratio of prism and creates only those prism which have ratio less than specified. Generally no value is specified as this method deletes the high aspect ratio cells which produces pyramid elements. So largest height over smallest base length is what it is defined as. It is recommended to specify this ratio somewhere between 0.5 and 8. Let us see an example of this. Prism layers are created in first case, though some elements have a high aspect ratio. In the second case, elements which do not specify ratio criteria are deleted, which creates discontinuous prism layers, but aspect ratio of prism layer element created follows the specified criteria. So this is the effect of maximum height over base. Next parameter is prism limit factor. This sets limit for aspect ratio of prism and controls the height of prism elements so that it satisfies the ratio criteria. This option is more useful than the previous one as it does not delete the prism elements. To maintain the height over base ratio, growth rate is changed. Initial height or total height whichever is specified is maintained. As an example you can see prism height limit factor when it is not specified and in the second case when it is specified you can see the difference between the aspect ratio. It is well maintained in the second case. Next parameter is prism element part control. New elements formed during creation of prism layers can be sorted and assigned to different parts using this tab. 
First is the new volume part. This is the part name for prism elements created. And then is the side and top part. During the creation of prism layers, new shell elements will be created and they can be put into different parts using this tab. So these are the three tabs that we have. As an example, we will see this. This is only a surface mesh. From that, we extrude the prism layer. What we have is prism elements, side elements and top elements and we can specify part names and specified part names are assigned to these. Next parameters is extrude into orphan region. When this is enabled, this option will extrude the prism layers away from the volume. This option is not used very often. Next parameter or option is advanced prism meshing parameters. Many more parameters to control the prism layers and are available in ICM. They can be accessed from here. But these advanced parameters are not useful for normal ICM users. For further information, the user's guide of ICM can, can be referred. The next option is read a prism parameters file. Prism parameters can be written in file and then same can be used in different projects. This saves the time while meshing similar geometries.